Hello world, welcome to the 90th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In the next two years, I'm hoping to start my own small business and I would like Shane, my digital assistant, to manage most of it for me. So we'll be starting this small business automation playlist and in today's video, the first video in this playlist, we're going to be using or setting up a small business uh, login check-in system using Microsoft Access. Now, I've got a chance to sample dozens of customer check-in slash login systems uh, while I was in the Air Force, and I have never been impressed with um, the products that I've seen using proprietary software. And I can't justify spending thousands, if not tens of thousands, for a system that's worse than what I can create in Microsoft Access myself. So, um, so in the next video, we'll actually be accessing this quick customer login system that we'll make briefly in this video. And we're going to be using Python to access um, the system and manage it. So please subscribe to my channel if you want to continue seeing me build this digital assistant or specifically the small business home automation or small business um, small business automation so let's go to the webcam and start our Microsoft Access database here we go alright so we're on our desktop now and we're going to actually start off on the internet so um, I'm gonna go to Google Images and uh, let's go Google Images. All right, so what I want is uh, I live in um, Bossier City, Shreveport, Louisiana. So if I'm working for, I don't know, this isn't going to be my company logo, but if I was trying to impress a somebody, I would... Uh, you know want some sort of cool background so I like to go to and find a large picture because it's usually better quality and you can manipulate it more so I like this one right here this is fine like I said we're gonna go through this real quick so that's pretty good so let's uh, save this image um, and then if, if you're gonna do something a real product Go to usage rights and go to labeled for reuse. All right, so mine is, that's great. So save image as, let's just go to documents and call it Shreveport. Okay, so we have downloaded that. Now let's open up PowerPoint. Okay, let's go to, I like to do my, uh, all my work on a blank one, so I went to Layout Bank. I'm using Microsoft Office 365. So let's go to insert the uh, picture from this device. Uh, let's go Documents, Shreveport. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's uh, put a box behind it. Try to get it real in here. Okay, let's uh, format this and let's put a uh, black fill behind it and let's make the line black as well. Now we will right click it and send it to the back. All right, now let's click on the picture and let's go to this picture right here, picture transparency. I don't know. That looks pretty good to me. Um, let's see if. All right, let's put the um, saturation at like 200%. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so yeah, I'm satisfied with this picture. So let's uh, group it all. So highlight everything. I can press Control. A twice, group, uh, save as picture, let's go to documents, and let's call this the background, ok, 
Okay, let's save this on my documents and call it uh, YouTube tutorial. Okay, let's close out of that and go to access. We're going to do a blank database and let's just call it uh, check-in. Alright, so if you are new to Microsoft Access, there are tables, forms to insert the information into the table, then there is uh, queries, and you can see up here uh, all the things that you can create. But we already have a table for us, so first let's add some columns. Okay, so let's do last name. So I like to press tab. Okay. Uh, first name, tab, and let's say if this is a yes or no and call it uh, first time here. Okay, and then let's put uh, the date time and then put uh, date visited. All right, so this is just an example. This isn't what I'm really going to use. All right, and now that we're in the date visited, you can go to fields and you can go to date time oops sorry don't do that so right click on that delete field oh, here we go format so we are in the fields ribbon right here so we're on date time format let's just do a general date it doesn't matter that will pick up the um, a little calendar will po pop up on the form all right I think that's pretty good so now it's going to ask you to save it. So let's go right here and let's go customers. All right. Then while this is highlighted, go to create and let's go to form. And it's going to try to figure out what you want to do. So right now we're in what's called a design view. So let's look at the form view. And I'm not a big fan of Microsoft Access is default layout, but this is literally what I've been pitched before um, by a company wanting thousands of dollars right here. And I'm just not a fan of this. So let's go back into design view. Okay, and let's just get rid of this whole header. So what I did was I right clicked on form header and let's take that off. It's going to say it's going to delete a bunch of stuff. Yes. I also don't want the ID. So by pressing control, you can select both of those and you can go delete. All right, so there is the start of our form, form right now. So I like to do the, um, so let's go to uh, design and you can go to, oh, I lost it. You can, change the thing to just black I like to do that because it is easier to uh, work when you are doing that so format there used to be a background color let's see if I can go shape fill black okay perfect so this is how we'll work so I'm going to control and select I'm going to select this last name select this first name, select first time here, select date visited. So just these are collected. Then I want to change the font to white. Let's go white. Let's go bold. And let's go 14. Okay, so now you can see that these extend beyond it. That's fine. So click on that last name and you can go like that. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. So I like that. Okay, so let's go back to shape fill and go like that. All right, and now let's go to uh, background image, browse, go to the documents where we just started and save that background. Okay, let's make this a little bigger. Okay, let's 
move all of this to about center, uh, like that. All right, now let's look at it. We can go to uh, view, form view. All right, I cut that off. So let's put that into the um, center. Let's extend that. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, that's pretty good, but I have OCD. You're not supposed to have OCD while filming a YouTube channel, but okay, that there we go. I like that a lot better. So let's go back to design view, and then let's also put in a button. So in design, you should have this button right here. So uh, button. Okay, so what do we want to do, right? This is the button wizard. You can also manually do everything yourself. But what I want to do is put a record navigation and go to uh, next record. So when they click on it, it will go to the save it and go to the next record. Okay, so I don't want the picture. I want it to be text and I want it to say uh, check in. Okay, click next. Um, and then if you have a bunch of stuff on there, the um, it's good practice to name your things that you'll remember it, especially when you're doing VBA script, which we'll probably do. Okay, um, hate that it re resorts back to its original thing. So let's make this uh, white font as well, bold, um, 18, yep. All right, so let's fill this with gray, I imagine. Yep, that's fine. And then um, the line color, shape outline. Let's go black. Yeah, like that. All right, so that looks, uh, let's look what it looks like in the design view. Let's center it there. All right, so that looks pretty uh, plain. I don't like that plain, so let's go uh, select that. All right, then go to Format, and then you can go to Shape Effects. Let's go Bevel, and let's put that kind of bevel in there. Okay, I like that. Let's see what this looks like. I'm doing this kind of on the fly. Form view, great. I like that. So let's do uh, my name. Jacobson, Brandon, is this my first time here? Well, actually, before we do that, uh, let's save. And let's just call this the check-in. Okay, great. So now you can see we have the customers table and the check-in forms. I've seen a lot of people like to do, uh, you know, the same name for tables and forms, but my forms get kind of complicated and I will be using multiple information uh, from multiple tables. So um, that's up to you. But so we're in the check in. So let's put my name in here. And this is my first time using my own business. Today's date. OK, so uh, there we go. Check in. All right. And now it's moved to the next record. So we can go back and check that. OK, let's save it. And then we can go to customers. I'm sorry. Uh, close out of there and go back to customers. And there we go. Now we have new information. So let's click out of there. And then let's go uh, last name uh, person. First name fake. Uh, not the first time here. Date visited. They actually visited yesterday. I don't know. Check in. Okay. Now let's check the customers. There we go. And this is our super simple customer form right there using a picture of downtown Shreveport. So I hope if uh, you're building your own Microsoft Access uh, database that this has helped you. 
and I hope that if you're here to watch my channel and you're here to watch me build my own small business automation that this has been helpful. So in the next video we're going to be accessing it, uh, this database, specifically this table, using Python. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and uh, leave a comment and tell me what you're working on. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye world.